Okay. Okay, welcome to another lesson by Mr. Matt Paul, The Singeing of the King's Beard in 1587 by Sir Francis Drake. All right. Okay, so I've got a nice little uh, pictogram here. So why did why did Drake singe the king's beard in 1587? Now, what we've got to remember is that this is a metaphor for Drake attacking Cadiz. Sir so Francis Drake didn't go up to King Philip II of Spain and actually set his beard on fire. That is not what happened, okay? Um, so what was the cause of it? Okay, so basically, England was in the ascendancy. And if England is becoming more powerful, that makes Spain's power, power relatively less. Now, you've got to remember that King Philip of Spain was the most powerful man in the world, but England is starting to encroach on his power. So the balance of power is beginning to shift towards England. That does not mean that England was more powerful than Spain at this point. It just means that England is a rising power. Okay. Um, and so tensions were clearly brewing. So what we've got is William the Silent. He's just died. You see that? See what I did there? He's just died. So William the Silent was assassinated in Holland. And this led to the Treaty of Nonsuch, where Elizabeth sent her great love, Sir Robert Dudley, with an army of 6,000, and she sent 600,000 silver florins to the Spanish Netherlands. Now, you should know that the Netherlands used to belong to King Philip of Spain, King Philip II of Spain. But he was a Catholic, and there were many Protestants. So Elizabeth supported a rebellion there. This is what we call a proxy war when two more powerful countries fight for influence in a less powerful country don't forget that king philip ii of spain's mercenaries sacked antwerp in 1576 so essentially we've got a lot of tension brewing in that key region there the spanish netherlands okay in the 1570s also relations had worsened with three plots against elizabeth remember rtb 123 rodolphe in 1571 Throckmorton in 1583, and finally the Babington plot. And this third plot, the Babington plot, led to the execution of Mary Queen of Scots because this man here, the spy master, Sir Francis Walsingham, had his mathematical cryptographer, Thomas Phillips, crack a code. And it was found that Mary Queen of Scots was a traitor and she was executed in 1587, in February 1587. So Basically, you can't keep an armada a secret, and King Philip II was certainly was certainly building one. So Elizabeth, sorry, there's some builders next door and they're making noises. It's really really irritating. Right, so Elizabeth sent um, Sir Francis Drake to attack uh, Spain. He did. He attacked the port of Cadiz. He destroyed thirty Spanish ships, and he also destroyed season wood. Now this was really really important because that season wood on that future armada just wouldn't be there. And season wood was absolutely essential for transporting water and food. And if you haven't got water and food, you haven't got an effective navy, yeah? You need men at their full strength if they're going to fight a war. So Sir Francis Drake really makes a huge impact here. So what are the consequences? Well, the Spanish armada was delayed by one year. Now, this is highly significant because the Spanish armada in 1588 fails. And a major reason for it failing is because they sail into a huge storm. And that storm may not have been there in 1587. The Spanish Armada was weaker than it, than it would have been for many reasons. The lack of season wood, as I just mentioned, meant that food wasn't stored for as long, which meant that the, the sailors were weaker than they needed to be. And the Marquis de Santa Cruz, uh, Spain's great naval leader, died just before the, uh, the Spanish Armada set sail in 1588. So had it gone forward in 1587, he would have been able, we would have been there and he been able to influence events. And there's a picture of him there, the Marquis de Santa Cruz. Uh, he was a great naval leader. Him dying just before the Spanish Armada set sail in 1588 really is a major reason for its failure. Another consequence is that Sir Francis Drake became known as El Drac because he was very fearsome. Remember, he'd already circumnavigated the world, travelled around the world in a circle from east to west, from 1577 to 1580, and he conducted a huge robbing spree on Spanish possessions in South America. So he had already done that. And now he had destroyed 30 plus ships and a cork factory, seasoned wood, and then gone on to attack the, the, the coast of Portugal afterwards, which again belonged to King Philip II of Spain because he was just so powerful. His family had uh, interbred or inbred everywhere. Now, a famous story about Sir Francis Drake. 
is that when the Spanish Armada came to attack, he was playing bowls. And he didn't stop his game of bowls because he was so unconcerned, so not concerned with the threat level the Spanish could afford England. Okay, now that story is apocryphal, which means it's not really true. Okay, but it serves a purpose and it shows how high significance Sir Francis Drake was as an individual to the events preceding the Spanish Armada, singeing the king's beard, humiliating the king of Spain, and then in the actual Spanish Armada itself in 1588. And that is it for today's lesson. Thank you. I hope you found that very um, educational, obviously. Right. Take care and I'll see you next lesson.